Richard Britton lining this one up. Boy, is the dead ball specialist. And Richard Britton has done it again for Ross County. The captain who announced during the transfer window that he will be leaving for St Johnson at the end of the season. Teal. Barron. Oh, here's Thompson, he's found space. Stephen Thompson levels things up in Paisley. A typically solid finish from Thompson, who makes it 12 for the season. The error coming from Scott Boyd, who slipped in the box. And there was Thompson to batter past Mark Brown. There's Boyd on the commanding header. Oh, Barron is short with that one. And here's Morrow. And Ross County have the lead once again. Sam Morrow with just his second goal of the season. It's been the centre forward position that's been the issue for Derek Adams all season. But Morrow here pouncing on the mistake by Barron. And didn't he finish it well? Oh, Vigers, Robs Robertson, and here's Sproul, and this time he does find the back of the net. Ivan Sproul marks his debut with a goal. Well, Vigers did so well to Rob Robertson, and lethal with the finish with Sproul. Britain with the corner and we'll come back to the Ross County captain. Sells Barron the dummy. Now can he pick out a man? Half cleared. It's Rocco Quinn. And now Sproul and the flag stays down. Ivan Sproul scores a double on his first appearance for his new club. Adam Matthews now. Cuts in, looks for the return and gets it, it's Matthews, there's Hooper! And inside two minutes, Celtic have the lead. And it's Gary Hooper with his 18th goal of the season. But a lot of the credit must go to Adam Matthews, who really put it on a plate for Celtic's top goal scorer. He actually played that one-two with many to all. Now here goes Chris Commons, he's passed Kevin McCatty. Still Commons. Fired across, oh, and there's Samaras. That's 2-0. And Hearts are in real trouble here. Commons just breezed past McCatty. Turn Wilson inside and out. His shot was saved by McDonald, but Samaras had the simplest of finishes. Hearts haven't won here in their last six attempts. They haven't scored either. But here's Jason Holt. Oh, it takes a deflection, and Jason Holt has scored for Hearts. They've got one back. The youngster, the 19-year-old, on the end of Sutton's chest layoff. And Charlie Mulgrew, there was nothing he could do about that. Lustig, oh, nicely done. Scott Brown now breaking into the box, gets it on to Hooper. That's 3-1, and with five minutes to go, the points are sewn up, thanks to a double from Gary Hooper. Lovely little back heel there by Mikhail Lustig. Scott Brown bombed onto it. The last touch may have actually come from Danny Wilson to send it into the path of Gary Hooper. Now Isagiri makes a beeline for the byline. Oh, great ball in, Lassad! A very well-controlled finish by the Tunisian, who gets his third goal in a Celtic jersey. Two have come against Hearts. Here's 
Easton to Stewart. Back it comes to Easton. Oh, and a nice interchange. And it finds Baird, and Baird finds the back of the net. He has his first goal for Dundee. And what a good move it was to one-touch stuff. Nish played the final ball in to Baird, who tucked it away past Ben Williams. That's a brilliant move from Dundee. Griffiths takes aim with the left foot, and Lee Griffiths scores four minutes into the second half. Well, he's staying at Easter Road until the end of the season. He's now scored in all three games this campaign against his former club. Doran. Now Foran. Andrew Shinney. Oh, and a slip by Russell Anderson. It could let Andrew Shinney in and does. Andrew Shinney opens the scoring. 12 for the season. A season which has seen him become a fully fledged Scotland international. Raven. Doran now goes up a gear. Oh, lovely touch there by Draper. Billy Mackay. Oh, it's a fabulous Inverness goal. All round. This was brilliantly done. Look at the touch from Draper and Billy Mackay then. He just walks it in. But this is a very different Inverness this season. It looks like they are pretty safe in this game. Raven gets the cross in, it's Billy Mackay. The points are most certainly safe now. That's 3-0. Billy Mackay with his 20th goal of the season, his second of the game, and his 14th in his last 10 games. He is absolutely red hot right now. And it was a great finish. Five SPL games here. That's lovely play. Higdon to release Humphrey. Now Humphrey, can he use his pace? Crossed in. Higdon! And eight minutes played. Michael Higdon with a clinical finish. The big striker involved in the build up, releasing Humphrey down the right hand side. And the winger managed to pick his man out in the middle. From end on, the finish was perfect. Callum Davidson measures the cross. It's cleared for Henrico Yama. And on the break for Motherwell. Trying a bit of trickery, turning Chris Miller one way, then the other. Higdon gets the break of the ball. Michael Higdon is well blocked and might drop back for the striker. And Michael Higdon has his second goal. A touch of fortune about it. Doesn't Fraser right know it? He didn't do too much wrong with the defending. He got really tight to Michael Higdon, who managed to turn him, but Wright got the block in. But the ball fell for Michael Higdon. And it's another expert finish from the Englishman. Well, just three points behind Inverness. In second place in the SPL. Keatley, Hutchinson, oh, and it comes back to Higdon, and that's the hat trick. Michael Higdon becomes the first non Old Firm player to score four SPL hat tricks, and that's now 16 goals for the season. Right place at the right time. Hutchinson with the initial header. That hit Oyama, and there was Higdon to place it home. Here's Craig. Three down to Johnson now. Here's Hasselbank. Gets the return from McLean, and Hasselbank hits it! Excellent goal from St Johnson. A lovely composed finish by Nigel Hasselbank, who's just on the park. Didn't he take this well? Good link-up with McLean. Curled into the corner. 
from 18 yards. The Dutchman gives St. Johnson a bit of hope. Lee Hollis, who has replaced Darren Randolph, his first job is to pick the ball out of the net. As far as Craig. And Miller. Clean now. Johnson got their tails up. Craig again. Oh, and there's Craig on the edge of the box. And this game has turned in a two minute spell. Liam Craig, the man who will be departing for Hibernian at the end of the season, makes it 3 2. What a game this is at Fur Park.